just God, it's amazing. Life is just a marathon, so pace Brush pain that things hate me, damn Life ain't gotta be hard, just keep it basic. Welcome back to Fort Meade Declassified. I'm Monique McFadden from the Fort Meade Public Affairs Office, and today we have with us Meade High School Homeland Security Signature Program representatives, Jim Harper, Homeland Security Signature Site Coordinator, and Melissa Bagdad, Homeland Security Signature Lead Teacher, and Fort Meade School Liaison Officer, Meredith McCandless to tell us about the Homeland Security Signature Program at Meade High School and how military families benefit from this program. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So Jim, tell me about what created the Homeland Security Department, the Department of Homeland Security. So from, from a government standpoint, the Department of Homeland Security was created in response to the terrorist attacks of 9-11-2001 tragic events where kind of is the background of our exploration. Um, soon after, uh, President Bush in 2002 um, declared the act of Homeland Security and then the department was officially created in 2003. Um, it is right now currently the third largest department um, right behind the uh, DOD and then uh, Veteran Affairs. Perfect. So with that program being um, created, I mean, that department being created. So do you all have any type of annual events that take place around 9-11 with the uh, signature program? At yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, since I, I, I've been here since 2011, and uh, Patriot Day um, was uh, created by President Obama um, for 9-11 every single year. And we've done a variety of events, but uh, of recent years, we've partnered with a, a, a national event that's uh, recognizing all of those uh, fallen uh, military men and women, first responders, and civilians. Um, so every year during 9-11, we go and we have an event. Uh, for the previous two years, 9-11 um, was on the weekend, and we weren't in such a, or we were, had access to our stadium. Uh, right now, this year, we have not because of the construction, and we would go and have a memorial service. Um, where we had um, members of the fi uh, of our local Fort Meade uh, Fire Department um, ringing a, a firehouse bell. We would have members of our lo the local uh, Navy uh, ringing a ship's bell. All uh, while we read a uh, an individual, we were assigned 50 names. Um, it's a national event. Over 3,000 have died. Oh, actually, it's over 5,000 since then, but uh, just under 3,000 on the day of 9-11, 2001 perished. Wow, that's great. So, Melissa, how do you participate in that program? Do you recruit your students? Are students involved in this particular um, event? So that's one of the most important things for us, and, and Jim is always so great in making sure that our students are really at the tip of organizing and help organizing, participating, reading the names, introducing our guest speakers, um, they help set up. It's always really important not only to include our Homeland Security students, but also really any student that wants to participate in that Patriot Day activity, we like to include them as well. Thank you. Wow. So, Jim, how long has the um, signature program been at Mead High School? So, so I'm, I'm very proud to say the Homeland Security Signature Program at Mead High School is the second oldest Homeland Security program in the entire country. Yeah. Joppa Town High School beat us by one year, but it was uh, it, it was uh, brought to Meade High School in 2007. Right. Um, since then, in 2011, we're very excited. Is just because, as everyone knows, Fort Meade is now like the hub for so much of national security efforts, specifically in intelligence and cybersecurity. All up and down National Business Parkway, you see just all the corporations. It's just really, really the center. We have embraced that, and our entire cluster has embraced that. So even though throughout the county, a lot of the signatures are kind of high school-based, mm -hmm. 
we've just expanded our resources to the entire cluster. So we do events throughout the year with elementary schools. Pershing Hill's phenomenal. We love them. Throw shout outs to Manor View. And not just our schools on base, but Van Bockling, GIS. Last year we went there. Our middle schools, Mead Middle and, and MacArthur, just phenomenal supporters. So excited to really embrace all of the exploration. And that's kind of at the feeder schools, we kind of focus on the exploration okay. of the national defense industry. At the high school, we kind of dial in and like, all right, now you guys kind of figured out what you want to do. Oh, Let's begin preparing for it. I love it. I love it. So, Meredith, how do military, I mean, I'm sure that this brings a lot of excitement to military families. How does this program excite them and what, what, what kind of responses have you received about Right, yes, excitement is definitely the word I would use. Um, th this is the only program in the county at, this, at Mead High School. It's nowhere else, you know, so it's, it's not only cutting edge, even though Homeland Security has been adapted many years ago, this is cutting edge curriculum that kids are being able to, you know, access, it, which excites parents. Anything new that somebody else doesn't have. Um, the other thing is that, you know, with AACPS, one of their main goals is college and career readiness. Yes. This program does it. So yeah, families definitely love it. Yeah, and I know we're going to get into more of the specifics about this program and how it the students benefit from it, but I did want to just ask a few questions about um, and Melissa, I guess you can share it with being the lead teacher in the program. So I wanted to just ask about the criteria right. that the students have and, um, you know, what's their participation like and how do they respond to that criteria? Right. So one of the great things about really all signature programs in Anne Arundel County is it's open to anybody who's interested. Oh, wow. So there is not, so speaking specifically about Mead, um, you know, we have such, we're a majority minority school. We have such a, a wonderful, diverse population, multiple languages sp spoken at our school. So really, any student who's interested in any capacity of Homeland Security can come in. Uh, we have students who, anywhere from uh, first responders, they want to work in police or fire. Um, we have students who are interested in cyber security. Mm -hmm. They fall under the umbrella of, of Homeland Security. In, uh, students that are interested in the alphabet agencies, you know, I want to be in the FBI, I want to be right. in the CIA. That for the explorations courses and then our counterterrorism and intelligence, which is a college proficiency class. So our students can take counterterrorism and intelligence and receive, if they pass the test, uh, three credits from uh, Anne Arundel Community College mm -hmm. in, for Homeland 111. So really any student um, who wants to, uh, Homeland Security is so broad, any job that you would have in the private sector, mm -hmm. you can find in Homeland Security, right? Mm -hmm. Customs and border, um, you know, um, uh, human resources even, right? I mean, yeah. any sort of administrative position. So that I think is what Jim and I really focus on. College and career readiness is the lens that we want to make sure our kids experience, and it's all about opportunity. So getting as many kids as we can out of the building to meet people, bring people into the building. What I always tell the kids is, um, I can teach you all about the FBI, but if I take you someplace or yeah, right. I bring someone in, mm -hmm. they actually have done it. So mm -hmm. I'm going to give you that that first that I exposure. That exposure. So important. And, and so that we offer that to any student at Mead High School, mm -hmm. I think is really um, important. Yeah. I can remember meeting the two of you and thinking, wow, this is so, I had no idea that this program existed until I met the two right. of you. And when we had an opportunity to discuss this program, I was like, no, we need to tell everyone. I want every um, military family, you know, Meredith and I were talking and I said, we need to have every military family know about this program. So let's do a podcast. Let's bring some students over. We'll talk about, you know, we can deal with that as well. But I do want us to come back later and bring us. Uh, 100%. Students. Absolutely. Yeah, so just let them. us know. We've wait got to, willing wait till kids. Wait you see our kids. <laughs> our kids are rock stars. I love rock They really stars. are rock stars. I, I love rock stars. So. I uh, want to, you know, dial back. Let me know. Um, I know we're going to have to take a break in between all of this, but I did want to um, 
um, discontinue with this. So, the um, what and you you named a few of them. So there are a lot of diverse careers that come oh. out of the um, home again community. the umbrella in our program in terms of college and career readiness, the career. So you start with our path, even our pathways, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So, you know, we, ha we have the counterterrorism. So that is really, you know, working at the government level in some of the agencies like the FBI, uh, Capitol Police, um, you know, the CIA. But then there's, we have such a beautiful relationship with our uh, county, uh, police, fire, uh, emergency management mm -hmm. and so when you look at the exposure like I said just a second ago our, we have students in our program who run the gamut we have students who want to be police officers and we have students that want to be CIA yeah. and then we have kids all in between right mm -hmm. so we also offer a GIS course which is um, it's a four semester course it's two years and at the end of it students can take the test to be industry certified in G GIS which is geographic information systems and okay. we have a business partner an industry partner um, on our ICST on our committee of business leaders who runs a, a GIS company mm -hmm. so our students have the opportunity to meet not only learn the content mm -hmm. but also get connected with the outside individuals in the public and private sectors that can lead them to a job mm -hmm. um, we have seven this is cool we have seven out of seven NSA interns wow. this year yeah. are all Homeland oh. Security students. And you know, I was wow. going to talk about NSA, yep. NSA and the yep. reason why I was going to talk about it because I was like, okay, we need them to be interested in the military also and that counterintelligence yeah. and all of those right. things. So, Absolutely. Yeah. So that's and, important. And so I would on this uh, podcast just open it up to anyone who's hearing us and you think you have a niche. Um, I ran into an old friend who works in cyber at NSA. He wants to come in and mentor some cybersecurity kids. So you never know mm -hmm. when those opportunities come up. And, and Jim and I and the rest of the team, we always seize on them, okay. right? We are always handing out cards. And because if I can bring a cybersecurity person in, that individual is going to be able to sit down and talk to those kids about yes. what are some real options for them. Mm -hmm. You know, I tell the kids all the time, the job you might have in 15 years might not even exist today, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the way right. things are rolling, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So we have to get those industry people in and get our kids out to be able to see not only what's right in front of them, but what's in front of them five years, 10 years, 15 years out, down the line. And I like the fact that they know what they want in terms of, hey, I want to go into the Homeland Security Signature Program, and I still, I don't really know the specific jobs that are available to me, but the fact that they want to do that. And then, Meredith, what you were saying about the parents and, you know, their excitement and that, you know, that their enthusiasm about wanting to, you know, for their child to participate mm -hmm. in this program is so awesome. So do you all have any, um, Jim, uh, Melissa, do you all have any marketing materials that you can Absol provide to Abs our audience? Absolutely. Um, our, our program is, is very robust. We have more Homeland Security courses at the high school level than kids have years in high school. Um, then <laughs> right. on top of that, that um, yeah. all of our students can, every single one of our students can graduate with 25 transcripted college credits. Those are not AP classes. Those are college courses that are either proficiency through Melissa's Counterterrorism Intelligence course or actually when the AACC professors come to meet high school mm -hmm. during the school day to teach their college course. I mean, this is this is cutting edge. We're Mead High School is now kind of a satellite campus for Anne Arundel Community College. Oh yeah, at zero cost. Zero cost. They don't need a car. Wow. They they don't have virtual. How much that cost if you they were to try and go out on their own? Uh, a couple thousand program? dollars. Oh, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. It, it's well in excess. After twenty five credits, you're looking at about five hundred and fifty dollars per three credits. You're looking. They're saving so much money, and wow. it's during the school day. Here's the cool thing is. They don't need a car to drive anywhere. They don't miss out on soccer practice or football practice or mm -hmm. cheerleading practice or anything like that. And the college professors just come in and teach their college course at Mead High School. Love it. It's and then on top of the industry partners that you know we have industry certifications. It's really you talked about the parents. Yeah. The parents are like whenever they get involved, they're like, oh my gosh, this is what my high school experience was like. And, and it's not. I, we're very proud. Anne Arundel yeah. County is is kind of at the cutting edge of.
career mm -hmm. and college readiness. Uh, the high school diploma, you're going to get it. You have to get it. Yeah. But that is not the sole purpose of the student's experience at Mead High School. It's really to explore what awesome careers are out there. Yeah. And then once they figure it out, prepare for them. And then, as Melissa said, is our, our finer, final tenet of the program mm -hmm. is we want the internship. We want them to have the job experience. Before they walk across and shake Dr. Durr's hand and receive that diploma, <laughs> we want their future kind of set. Just one moment. I'm going to, we're going to break for a moment and receive some uh, installation updates from our command information chief, Chuck Yang. Hello everyone. On Friday, October 20th, starting 10 a.m., check out the second annual Fort Meade Community Resiliency Fair. It'll take place at the parade field. This is an event that promotes family, peer, community, and unit connection. The fair includes kids activities, amazing race, team challenges, food trucks, and lots more. Contact your Armed Forces Wellness Center at 301-677-2006 for more information. Now back to the conversation. Melissa, I know you just told us about mm -hmm. it, but I do want to just kind of come back a little bit in terms of what are some of the certificates that the students who participate mm -hmm. in the Homeland Security right. Program, what, do, what can they receive? Okay, so, well, I mean, other than the fantastic opportunities, yeah. uh, in terms of actual tangible, Jim just mentioned, um, up to, from start to finish, up to 25 college mm -hmm. credits at the yeah. community college, which we all know if we go uh, to a school in Maryland, those will transfer mm -hmm. um, in almost all cases yeah. Yeah. in terms of even gen ed credits and things like that. So uh, thousands of dollars right there. Um, but in terms of uh, uh, certifications, so there's the Counterterrorism and Intelligence, which is um, Homeland Security 111. Oh, wow. That's three credits at the community college. That is, again, they sit with a teacher from Anne Arundel County, myself, or another one of our team members uh, for a year, and they take the same test and get the same material that the college kids get. Mm -hmm. And if they pass the test, we are very proud to say that last year we had an 87% pass rate, oh, which yeah. was amazing. Yeah, amazing. Yeah, Our yeah. students, so they did, again, I said they were rock stars. Yeah. They are totally rock stars. Um, and then the um, GIS, which is Geographic Information Systems, that is actually a CTE um, and through Maryland mm -hmm. and affords them the opportunity to sit for the industry certification mm -hmm. in GIS, which is an entry-level certificate. And um, again, you are marketable as soon as you walk out the door with that certificate, oh, right? Yes. Oh, yes. So what I tell my students is, is that even if GIS is not the end all be all for you, right? If it's not what you wanna do for the rest of your life, what a great opportunity to gain that skill, mm -hmm. to be able then to take that to help you pay your way through college or get yourself into a situation where you're doing something that you want. Mm -hmm. The last thing is that we added to our GIS 3-4, which is our second year, uh, last year was the first year we did it as a pilot with the community college. Uh, Mr. Tim Tumulty, uh, a Navy veteran who is teaching at the community college, uh, South River and, and Mead, we did a pilot where uh, students were able to take the Drone 100 class. Oh, wow. And so they could come so out and having that. that curriculum. Yes. And, and, we, and again, the other cool thing is Anne Arundel County pays for all of this. So we sit, we pay for those students to sit for that GIS certification test. We pay that. Um, when the students take the Drone 100 class in the second year of GIS, we pay for them to sit for that drone, that drone certification. Mm -hmm. So everything that Jim and I are talking about today is essentially free. Um, and particularly community college classes. Last November, Memorandum of Understanding came out between AACC and AACPS, mm -hmm. where our students who, if for those of you that have been in the county, ECAP or Jumpstart, mm -hmm. used to have to pay a, a minimal fee, yeah. which everybody thought was great, and yeah. it was. Mm -hmm. But they came out and said, no, students will now pay zero, as long mm -hmm. as you're in an Anne Arundel County public school and you are 16 years old. So. For yeah. our students, especially our military kids, it is a phenomenal opportunity for them to get exposure, mm -hmm. but also 
to save mom and dad or grandma, grandpa, aunt, uncle Absolutely. a little money. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, yes. yes. And, you know? And it's just another benefit also as a military. 100%. Yeah. They yeah. Can, yes, they can really benefit from 100%. It. Now, let me ask you, how many students are in the program currently, Jerry? So, so right now we have 241 students. Wow. Uh, it's there, And you know what? That number's even in down. Uh, right before the pandemic, we were over 500. So one out of every four yes. students at Mead High School mm -hmm. were in our Homeland Security program. Just they, they, The students come in and they just recognize the wealth of opportunity mm -hmm. that our program provides them. To, to kind of piggyback on, you know, Melissa runs point on the GIS program okay. and the counterterrorism intelligence program. Mm -hmm. um, we have multiple pathways um, that in each pathway, the goal is to get the kids either industry certification, mm -hmm. college credit, and an internship. That's the goal. Um, so in law enforcement, in intelligence, mm -hmm. in GIS, geographic information systems, in cyber, I got to say that again, in cyber, we have one of the most competitive cyber patriot programs, yep, not it. just in the county and not just in the state, but in the entire country. I guess I'm too old. To... Yeah. You are welcome <laughs> Come at on, any time. Bring it up. We're, we're good. We're good. Always <laughs> open. That's yes. why I was sitting here thinking, yes. I wish I could go back and do this. No, we had nothing, like, of course we had nothing yeah. like this, but right. I wasn't. And we have to give a big shout out for Cyber Patriot to Gina Giles, who yeah, G works oh. with our Air Force, uh, Air Force, um, Air Force Association. So she, I'm sorry, yeah. thank you. And she has really kind of adopted us, yeah. which is oh, amazing. Definitely. And the um, organization and the talent and time that she and her team devote to our kids yeah. is amazing. And we cannot, you know, speak highly enough about. Uh, the people that come in and work with our kids, and again, opportunity to get that career yeah. conversation. As they're sitting there, they get to talk to individuals who are doing doing the jobs mm -hmm. that they might be interested in, so they get that firsthand information. I love it. So let me ask you, with the, you know, with this participation mm -hmm. and you know, successful completion, mm -hmm. does that afford some type of internship? Is it paid? A absolutely, absolutely. Okay. We have phenomenal partners. Um, I'm throw a show, shout out to Joe Reddix. I, I should be doing these plugs, but you know what? <laughs> At the end of the day, there's no way that we could provide our program to the level that we provide without our industry partners. Yes. Melissa talked about Gina. She brings in three or four specialists from U.S. Cyber Command yeah. to oh. coach our kids on cyber defense and and the entire world of cyber. We can't, we can't do that. Um, you know, Lonnie Anderson, what they do in terms of our month of a military child. You know, uh, we are so proud uh, of our military families. Um, this is something that our program just keeps getting bigger and bigger. Mm -hmm. All of April, month of the military child, we dedicate to our military families uh, because we know, you know, it might be their, their parents that are serving but it's the entire family mm -hmm. who is serving. That's right. Every child in there is serving, and we just appreciate so much. Mm -hmm. We we love our, our military And kids. I will say that the month of the military child is the reason why Meredith came out, and she was like, Monique, you've got you to gotta learn more about it. Come on, <laughs> I want you to meet Jim and Melissa, and I want you to know more about um, the Homeland Security Program and how, it, you, how you highlight it the um, month of the military child. So that was the reason why we all came together. So I'm excited about Oh, 100%. Getting, getting One of the things, so, you know, our tagline is we're preparing students to secure a future, but our, our motto within our student community is we honor those who serve yes. and who are first to respond. Yes. That is that is our tagline. That is our mantra within our students. We are honoring all the six branches out there and then all the first responders out there that work every day to sustain our way of life in the U.S. Yes. and to protect our citizens and residents of the yeah. United States. Yeah, that was a difficult time for it so was. many. And I often think about that situation. This is a personal story. My um, husband was working in a trade room at that time, and he was supposed to be in New York. And one of his colleagues asked if he could go that week because um, he had a family situation for the week, in the following week, which he was supposed to. Uh -huh. right. uh, and he ended up passing away oh, in that. Wow. So yeah. 
we are very quiet, very still on 9 11 as a result of that. So, one of the exciting experiences, because to all of our students, 9 11 2001 was history. Yeah. They they did not. I remember when they were talking about Pearl Harbor. Mm -hmm. I was not alive yes. during Pearl Harbor, mm -hmm. and I, I couldn't really wrap my head around it. Mm -hmm. Every year, we take our program up to New York City, mm -hmm. and we have the outdoor memorial yeah. where they walk around, and I tell them, I said, look at the names. Mm -hmm. Look at the name. It's it's not John Smith and Brenda Johnson. It's you. You see the diversity, which we're so proud of. Melissa talked about the diversity. Mm -hmm. You see the diversity in the names. Where you know that that attack was against the the American way of life, our freedoms, our liberties. Mm -hmm. um, and the kids, after we do the outdoor memorial, then we go down into the museum, mm -hmm. and they see. And it's it's amazing. You know, a couple kids they they get choked up, and they realize. You know, we they appreciate you know everything that America provides them, and we look at our diversity. Yes. Um, I am one of the biggest patriots out there. Mm -hmm. um, I I I'll get off on a on a tangent, and and I have the students you know understand you know we're not perfect. No. We're not perfect, and they're still we're, but the constant pursuit of perfection yes. and freedom and civil liberties mm -hmm. um, is, is really what what we're about and mm -hmm. what our program is and. Homeland Security is securing our home, mm -hmm. but then also preserving our way of life. Mm -hmm. I can remember I was watching a, um, a comedy special with um, Wanda Sykes. Oh, and Wanda love her. Sykes. Oh, Rundle Grad. Oh, she's at Rundle Grad. Yeah, that, she yep. was at Rundle Grad as well as she worked with NSA. Correct. Yes. And all the time, every time she would say that, she was like, excuse me, thank me for my service. Thank you for my service. <laughs> yeah. And I could not stop laughing right. because... But at the same time, she was being serious. I mean, of course, she's a comedian, so she's right. funny. Right. But at the same, I was like, this is so, it's always important to teach not just um, those who were there yeah. and experienced 9-11, yeah. but for those students to know. And it's getting, it's getting harder. Yeah. Uh, you know, as, mm -hmm. some, as being in the classroom, we really launch all of our courses around 9-11 that's that's yes. the kind of for us I mean we come to school before we come back to school before but really that 9-11 date is really for our explorations our CNI and our GIS that's really the launch point and mm -hmm. and to always circle back to that is getting harder and harder because yes. the kids are getting more distance from that I was actually on post on 9-11 I was teaching at wow. Mead and you know i remember that day distinctly and so you're you're having a very different convert we are in the classroom having a very different conversation in 2023 than we had in 2009 yes you know and and so we as teachers have to shift that have to shift how we present the material to still get them to understand and realize what it what it is and what the effect was particularly on our community um, was um, you know we were very fortunate we did not a single child lost a parent at the DOD or at the Pentagon yeah. which we were you know at that point when everything was happening we were you know uh, really afraid of that but um, again a military child is gonna take that lesson through an entirely different lens than a, maybe a civilian child yes, is yes. gonna take that and so we always have to be cognizant of it but it does get more difficult as time passes oh, yes. to get them to have that, yeah. you know, realization. It was, a, it was always, I can remember, of course, what I was doing. I was about to give a brief to the Financial Services Committee at, on the Hill. Yeah. So I was like, yeah. and yeah. everyone was calling me, Monique, don't come, Monique, don't come. And I was like, why not? What's going right. on? What's going and that on? time I still, I hadn't seen the news. Yeah. Right. And that was the reason why I could yeah. not. Attend. I mean, I couldn't go up on the hill. Well, mm -hmm. everything was, you know, yeah. correct, yeah. <laughs> correct, correct. Yeah, it was a, a nightmare. Oh, we didn't so send buses home until I think five o'clock yeah. on that yes. day because yeah. nobody yeah. could get on to post. Yeah. yeah. So. Um, yeah, and it changed our lives for yeah. Oh, it did. Yeah. It yeah. did. It changed our lives. It did. So, um, Meredith, so um, do you know about any partnerships that Fort Meade is doing with um, the signature program? 
So that's something that I've discussed with both Jim and Melissa, particularly after attending the event last year. Remind me of the name of that event that was... In oh boy, which one of them? The Money Expo. Expo. The month, the okay, so, month so, of the military child. So the month of the military child. Yeah. I was like, oh boy, with yeah. the Holy Spirit Expos yeah, exactly. and <laughs> Veteran Day and 9-11, <laughs> the, I'm like, I can, there's about eight of them out there. The <laughs> Expo, they had like a breakdown of the following, the, the next year coming up, all the things they were going to be doing, going to Europe. Um, yep. Yeah. But also, I saw we can help with some of these things. One of the things around for the Europe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, one of the things is conducting uh, mock interviews oh, with wow. the students. Yeah, exactly. We we have people at ACS that can help with Perfect. that. That I partner with for other things. So yeah. definitely moving forward, we're going to be helping. And, that and that's one of the things I have to say. The the, the support that we we are. And I, I'm going to put it out there. We are the most fortunate high school yes. in yes. Anne Arundel County, without question. I agree. Um, the best. Everyone, you, you, <laughs> go down, you go down to central office, and they're like, "Wow, the industry support that Mead High School gets yeah. is off the charts." Our, our our mock interviews, which Meredith spoke to, we have the entire junior class, and it's not you know we bring in NSA, mm -hmm. Fort Mead, mm -hmm. Northrop Grumman. U.S. Cyber Command, yes. Lockheed Martin, Boeing, LGIC, SAIC, LG Tech. I could go on and on and on and on yeah. about all these. And the students are sitting down, they're conducting their, you know, handing their resume, doing a mock interview. Right. That's something that, and that's just like I said, when Meredith was like, which event? I'm like, it's we have I several <laughs> every month. Um, it's yeah. not, you know, the students do have to sit and, you know, English 9 and Algebra 1 mm -hmm. and U.S. Government. That's important. Mm -hmm. But that's not the sole goal of me in high school. I tell the students, I said, and this is one of my things, the high school diploma is the bottom rung of yeah. the ladder of success. Yes. You need to step on that rung mm -hmm. to climb that ladder. Mm -hmm. But it's the bottom rung. And that is, that is you know, come to Mead High School, you're going to get your high school diploma. But what you leave, all the experiences, the opportunities, the industry certifications, the college credits, the internships, are well beyond that. Mm -hmm. And that's our yeah. goal to meet high school. I like that. That's great. So um, we're going to just wrap up everything. We got a few more questions, and then I was just going to say um, so, would you say, because I know it's been in existence now since 2007? 2007. 2007. So, how many students can you honestly say oh. have successfully been very oh. successful in this program? Oh, well. So, our <laughs> One of the criteria, and, and it's, we have um, our Homeland Security Court, which it, it's a Anne Arundel County Public School recognition, which is, is great, but the industry certifications, the college credits, the internships are above that. Mm -hmm. Golly, probably on average since uh, first 2007, graduated class first 2009, probably averaging about 30, give or take kids, that have... And, and the court is like full immersion. Yes. We have some students. And one, one of the things that's so important, mm -hmm. um, our program does not have enrollment criteria. Because, you know, first of all, we have a very mobile population. Mm -hmm. Not just beyond our, our, our military fans. We're not going to have, a, a, you know, a kid come their junior year to meet high school because mom or dad just got transferred um, to uh, a Fort Meade and say, oh, I'm sorry. You weren't, been a, you weren't able to take our ninth or 10th grade courses. Our program is open enrollment at every level all four years of high school. We've had military kids come their senior year. Perfect example, Colonel Sapp's daughter. Yes. You know, Samantha. perfect. Came to us her senior yeah. year. And, you know, she had to get some graduation credits. But our program is not just, oh, you have to enroll in our courses. Mm -hmm. You have to take these, you know, prerequisites. They're open. Mock interviews, New York City, you know, our internships, mm -hmm. open to any kid at Mead High School at any level. And that is a, a fundamental tenet of our program is our door, they, it's open. And whenever, if, they, if they come in in ninth grade year, we, Aaron, Erica Perez, awesome kid, love her to death. She's currently a junior. She took our program her ninth grade year, but because of IB and JROTC and Project Lead the Way and AB and all the other great opportunities to meet, it's like, oh, Mr. Hopper, I wasn't able to do, you know, Homeland Security to my, my sophomore year. Mm -hmm. It's like, that's okay. She was still in our, our first responders holiday basket drive, which is a big thing that the, the base 
they come out in spades for that event. Uh, she still wanted to coordinate that. She's back with us this junior year. So the fluidity of our program is 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 paramount okay. to the students' experience. That's right. And we want to keep this going. We want to keep this conversation going, but we're going to wrap things up. I really want to thank you all for being oh, well, here. Well, thank you for just, having us. Just thank promise you. me you'll bring our kids back. Wait, <laughs> wait till you see our kids. We are good. nothing compared we to our kids. We are nothing compared to our children. <laughs> our children are great. Yeah. Their They're energy amazing. is about it. Yeah. I love your energy. I love it. So I just want to again thank everyone for being here. Um, both uh, Jim, Melissa, and my friend Meredith. Who is, you know, Meredith is, she's like, mine. she's the cog that, you know, yeah, right. makes she it brought all of this. She made all she of did. this happen. Well, thank you. Very, and I thank you for being so yes. open to doing it and you, the energy she's you so bring to it. Job, so yeah. I really appreciate yeah. Meredith um, a lot. So, well, um, we thank you both yeah. because it really is um, a great opportunity for us to get our kids recognized and, and the program recognized so that more kids can join. Yes. And one of the things is, is the military families out there, it doesn't matter what grade you're in, we are throughout the entire cluster. Mm -hmm. So if, if you go and you hear this podcast and you see our kids down in the future, like, hey, this is kind of cool. Shoot Meredith an email, shoot me an email, shoot Melissa an email, and if, wherever your student is, wherever your child is, yeah. we, can, we have events and, you know, we're going to go in, in February. We have that big uh, holiday drive for all of our first responders through those cold, cold weather months. Ham warners, chewy bars, dog bones, the, the poundage of dog bones that all of our schools went and donated. They love it. They love our canine. I tell you, they, they love did. those guys. Oh, wow. um, we have ways for you guys to participate. Yes. And again, we want you all to bring your students back. Absolutely. We're going to schedule another one of these podcasts so that you can. I would love to hear from the students, mm -hmm. especially yep. their energy is more than yours. That's like a thousand. We do. Plus. We have. So we, we have, have some like rock stars. Great, great. So again, thank you everyone who've listened today. And we'll see you next time at the next episode of Fort Meade Declassified. Great. Thank you. Oh, God, just God, it's amazing. It's amazing. Life is just a marathon. So basic. Fresh pain that things hate me.